Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You only have two things in this world. Mm. Your word and your mm. balls. And you break them for no, no man. one, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, everybody good? Everybody right? Smoking, shit, smoking shit. in the air. Everybody uh -huh, cups uh -huh. is full. Yep. Pass me a grinder. All right, no doubt. Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Woo! Episode uh, 32, baby. 32 episode 32. 32. Shaq episode. I don't know. Bilingual magic episode. 32. Magic. Oh, That's old Shaq. Shaq old 34 Shaq. in LA. Yeah, yeah, no. Isn't no chips on that 32. OG Shaq. Yeah, OG Shaq. Uh, magic. Magic. Who else magic, is 32? Any 32s? Any famous 32s? Nah, I think that's that's enough. That's good. It gotta be mad, got mad football niggas with thirty two. Yeah, that's a yeah. common number. Running back number. Yeah, <laughs> no legends. I mean, uh, what's the can't name? think of uh, no thirty twos. Nobody OJ? got no thirty twos. OJ. Was OJ thirty two? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. He was. You sure? He was Orenthal a, James. He was, he was a killer. Was thirty two. Uh, no, uh, episode 32 uh, Thanks for coming back To the Blood Exchange Don't forget yeah. to like Comment Subscribe Hit that the notification notice. bell hey. That's the best way To grow the cha channel And get more Of your Blood Exchange uh, Videos You dig? Yes sir Ow, Ow. Welcome back Welcome back everybody How y'all doing? How y'all doing? To the left of me uh. I have My guy from the sandbox The one The only Crump A.K.A. Crump Diddy Uh A.K.A. Dexter. Mm. Vibes. <laughs> Serial <laughs> Killy. Know what I mean? A.K.A. Shooter McGavin. William H., the all-time great. A.K.A. Paper. Over Oops. people. Let's get it. How you doing, bro? How you doing, brother? I'm chilling, 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 you know. Had a, having a lovely week. Hell yeah. You know, okay, a couple okay. shoots, you know what I mean? Okay. Right. So that paper, the bag. That paper. Paper over paper. people, paper. baby. No, I, didn't, I, I was just making paper this week. I didn't have the opportunity to make it over people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. given the opportunity, you will. You I would have definitely make up made for it. it I would have make up for it next Ooh, week. That's watch all I can out! Ask. Don't run into me next week. Because I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get over on you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Over on you. <laughs> stay scheming, Wolf. <laughs> stay scheming, Wolf. Insert stay scheming beat right now. Yeah, man. Like, yo. <laughs> to the right, I have my guy. The one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend. Ooh, let's get it, Pablo. Hey. A.K.A. Bleak. Thank you, thank you. A.K.A. Made by Pablo. Hey. Sure. A.K.A. DJ Wavy Seal. A.K.A. I'm not letting no pussy pass me. I gotta smash it because I'm that guy. Yes. How the subscriptions looking? They're looking good, man. Hi. Okay, okay. You feel me? You still, still 1%? Still 1%? Yeah. Still 1%? Of you haven't okay. fallen off? You haven't, you haven't, you haven't hit them with that I'm new content? That, I'm in front of that I see. I seen you can dip day. under the one now. I seen top point three, oh like top gosh. point three oh for creators. And you got oh to have to step it up a little bit. Right, new camera? A couple more TikTok. New camera, some more. I need to change my view. New apparatus? I need to give myself okay, better angles. Better angles. Better angles. You got to new fits. You got to know your angles. You got to cop the new fits. That's important, guys. You got to know your angles. Reusing the fits? If you're reusing the fits. I think I might be using Did you cop some negligee? Negligee. Yeah, so you can just pull your, you know, you got the, the strap, the, the see-through see basketball shorts with the, I got ah! you can unstrap the joint. <laughs> I got like, like breakaway pants. Yeah, the breakaway dick, though. Just the breakaway I tried. Crotch. Like, just a crotch. Like, take it down. For the shorties. Yeah, it's still pants, but yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, negligee. It's, it's, it's a hallway to the ball. And no, I didn't say negligee. It's negligee. Negligee. You know how it's shorties, you know how shorties wear some negligee That's for you? You know, you throw the negligee on. Episode 30. You want to go catch it? Check that out. Episode 30. That was fire. Cool. And once again, I'm, I'm your host, of course, uh, Aim Gunner, uh. a.k.a. Low Life, Woo. a.k.a. Horsepower, Facts. AKA, a.k.a. Gregory Hines, the Facts. great dance legend, Woo, a.k.a. Tap, tap, tap. Moonwalker, Moonwalker, a.k.a. The Real Gunner. Yes. A.k.a. Homer dipping to the bushes. <laughs> on the questions. On the questions. <laughs> and I'm out of here. Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, and keeping it blunt Let's with us. Blunt. Oh, now's the it. time to light it up if you got it. Mm. And guys, what, you want to you go straight into word of the day? Let's get into the word of the day, word baby. Of the day. Word of the day. Word of the day. Uh, word of yeah. the day. Let's go. Let's word of the day is sponsored by Crump. Once again, he enjoyed it so much last time. Yeah. It was a great word. Let's get it, Crump. Let's do, let's do it again. Tell us, tell us, tell today's, us what we're learning today. Today's word is undulate. 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 Undulate? No, undulate. U N D. U N D U L A T E. 
Undulate. 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 How do you pronounce it? Should be a pronunciation. Undulate. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Can I uh, can I have it in a sentence, sir? The surface of the liquid undulated gently. All right, some so, it's some the sort of movement. The surface of the liquid, but what kind of movement undulated would it be? gently. It unraveled. It took over. It, it like. <laughs> yeah, right. It's it spread, has to do with movement, spread, right? It dissolved and spread. It has to, it, you are heading. Y'all are heading in the right direction. Undu- it has to do with motion. Yeah, it has to. So it moved in and it took over. It spread. It. That's a good one. Undulate. So, I, 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 I'm thinking of a word. Undulate. Undulate. Hmm. It took over. I think it keeps. Undulate. No, Angela, it's just some sort of movement. I don't know what the right word is. All right, so the definite... But I would love to know this one. This one sounds yeah, good. The def- I, I just want to know if the, we pronounce it. That's the way it's pronounced. It should have the pronunciation. Press it. Oh, uh-uh. And I think it's... Just pronounce it. Undulate? 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 Uh-huh. Like, j. Hold on, hold on. Undulate. Undulate. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. It's like when the, you know, like little fish and shit be having the, the un- shit undulating and shit uh, like that. So it's some sort of movement. It's like... What? Like a motion? Sorry. Vigorous movement? Undulate. The, uh, the definition is move or go with a smooth up and down motion. Oh. I like wow. that. So it's like, like up and down. It has to be up and down motion. Yeah. Yes. Can we have some synonyms or uh, other similar Playing ones? Playing the banjo. You should, so Shorty would undulate her fingers across her. Or, or homeboy. Her fingers. Or homeboy Playing would also. Pavla. Yeah. Mm. He was gently undulating. Move or go with a smooth young. up and down motion. Maybe like. Undulating lotion on your skin. Yeah. Mm. Or you know, I like that. Um I like I mean? that. So it's a smooth up and down motion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go. I mean, move or go with a like smooth a up and down motion. Undulate. Uh, undulate. That's a good one. Yeah, the undulate. Thank you, Crump. That was excellent. Mm. And I think we can use that one a lot. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> so guys, man. Uh, guys, mm. been, is he gonna undulate her thighs? Uh, yeah. I think there's need I think we're leaving leaving some words out. Oh, okay. That may I the context? May I what, undulate what? your thighs? First of all, can I? May I please undulate on your thighs? You're right. Oh, what that's not the word I think undulate it is. Undulate on. My fault. That's not the yeah, word I thought whoa. it was. Whoa. Moving on, <laughs> guys. How's it going? Good, y'all. Great. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard anything? What? Uh, There's what so happened? much to talk about this so week. Much. What are, where are we starting though? You, which I want to start with. Um, music. Y'all want to talk sports. Y'all want to talk pop culture. Y'all want to talk. I know, I know your boy. News. I know your boy Drake uh, dropped a three pack. You want to talk about it? You can start three with pack. Them. You, you want to talk about it at all? Yeah, it's good music. Beautiful music. I mean, it was like the hottest rapper in the game right now yeah. and the best current like rapper uh-huh. on the same song. I agree. It wasn't the best song, in my opinion. Out of the three? It was my least favorite. Out of the and three? Let's just, be, let's just be clear what we're talking about. Yeah. Who do you think is the hottest, the rapper, hottest rapper right now? The hottest rapper right now is for the, t- for the immediate Which time being that? right now is Lil Baby. I agree. Lil Baby. Okay. I agree. Lil and Baby the is probably the hottest out rapper. Right now and the best rapper is Drake. Drake is still at the top, yeah, he's still at the top. of the game. I agree with that. Like, so both of them on the same you clearly. Both of them on the same song. Yeah. Who killed it better? I think, I think Lil Baby rolled the beat a little better and had more to prove, especially being on a Drake project and a Drake song. And Drake probably was like, yo, of course I want you to kill it. But um, yeah. I, th- I think he gave him, like, I-, I think Drake gave him his verse first. And like, yo, this is what I did to it. And Lil Baby was like, yo, I'm trying to get to the level that he's at. So let me just go super hard. And Drake was like, I mean, I'm cool. And I, I got the album dropping soon. That's interesting. I mean. All right. You gave me a whole lot of. Uh, on, that, it, on that particular yeah, song. Like I, for see, that, for, I, I can for, hear your perspective. But what I'm trying to say to you is just straight pound for pound bar. Because I don't know the I don't know behind the scenes. Yeah. What do you I mean? I, even, I don't know behind the scenes. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying I'm like. I'm not saying I know behind the scenes. No, no. I'm just saying like um, who do you think had a better verse? Who rapped better? Uh, I think Drake rapped better, but Lil Baby flowed better. Okay. So who would you give it to? Who won that Who won that song? I know it's not a competition. Lil who Lil won baby. that song? Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Lil Baby won Lil it? Baby. Drake. How do you feel? Drake. Drake? But I understand, I understand what uh, Crump is... What do you Crump agree that Lil Baby and Drake are probably the two top rappers right now? Do you agree with that? That that uh, whole statement? Um, I think so. Your man's been pretty quiet. Who? I think so. Bleak's man's been pretty quiet. Who's Which Bleak's man? Future. Oh, cha 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 No, I'm just saying, he's been, he, he's been kind of quiet over the past year you know, and some change. Future speaks, Two years. Future I'm just speaks for us. He's a national treasure and must be protected so at all is costs. Future better than, is Future higher than Drake a little baby right now? Future is a different. Future is like, you know, like how there's like... Drake's more you know there's, than Future. You know how there's like religious music? It's like a different genre? Yeah. 
Like future is a different genre of music. Like future. I mean, I feel is this for- is the sidestepping from the actual answer. This is the tap dancing right now instead of just answering the question. Yeah. I asked him a, dir- call, asked him a direct this? man question. You know, I said who? I said is is future hotter or better than Drake or Baby? Like, should he be considered higher or higher ranked or status wise ranked higher than them currently? If you ask me personally, I would say yes. Then but, who? The little baby and yeah. Drake. The no, bo- not Drake, but Lil Baby, of course, yes. But in my opinion, Future hasn't dropped nothing in a minute. Yes, I know. So, like, Drake, Lil Baby had the best album He just last dropped year. the album with, Lil, with uh, Uzi Vert, which is a I fucking mean, amazing still. I mean, that's a, that's a joint project. I'm not, I'm not saying that's not what... Is, I'm not saying that's not Before fire. that, he dropped another album with album. Uzi Vert. Before I'm not that. saying... Yeah, but he hasn't dropped a solo project. Lil Baby's album last year was the best album of the year. But we're getting Argu- mad Arguably, arguably. In my opinion. Yeah. Everything's in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But we're getting... Who do you think be, Who do you think had a better verse, Drake or Baby... On that song, that's one. That one. I'm to be honest with you, it's tough. Drake, it's tough. I feel like they're both so talented. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. I just think maybe Drake's uh, perspective right now is just a little bit more uh, refined. Uh-huh. Just everything is just so much more polished and like I, I don't know. Drake is at, in a real good pocket right now. He's in a good he, mentally. He's in a great place right now. He's like oh, he's like it's like if it's, you want to do an analogy to sports, right? Yeah. He's like an athlete. That he's lost a little bit of his explosiveness, but like his explosiveness is like a touchdown. I don't, he, Drake I don't, shit is I don't not. Agree. Okay, like he used to be like Drake every line is a status, anything. nigga. Everything is every line is a is a punch, is a bar, is a yeah. status, mm-hmm. is a fucking quote. Every yeah. fucking line. See, he's lost a little bit of that, or maybe he's turned directions. Whatever it is, he could have nah. pivoted from it. Whatever it is, I think it's a, I think it's more of a pivot, it's not, not as than much than as an ability to not do it. That's what I'm saying. Depth now. That's what I'm talking more deep. I mean, Concepts. but, but like, that but go ahead, go ahead. isn't what you're, you're, you're what you're talking about are two separate things. You're, you, now you're talking about subject matter, but before you're talking about approach to the music. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, when you're trying to get that spot of or separate yourself from the pack, mm-hmm. you go a little like how Baby's trying to put himself in a position to be considered one of the top top people in the game right now. I think he already he's, is. He's, I, I agree. Fast. I agree. No, 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 fast no. too. No, no, I, I agree. But mm-hmm. I'm saying he's he's attacking these beats and attacking these songs. And somebody like Drake who's already there, already established. Yeah, uh-huh. He's not he's not he's not trying to prove anything and at, I think, with this song. And to be honest with you, he's I think he's giving the platform to the young dude to prove it for him ultimately. And I think to be honest with you sometimes okay. that's point. when the best rap comes when you're already accepted, right. established. Yeah. You've know already put the, the crazy right. work and you've covered the bases that you did. You did the party songs. You did the sad songs. You, you, you covered all the bases. You know what I mean? You have an album or three out. You know what I mean? Right. Now, you can get deeper. Now right. you can get more deeper, complex. Now you don't deeper. have to give the whole backstory every time. I can just get into the shit. And I think that's where Drake is. Mm. He's already established everything. He did everything he has to do and more. Yeah. Now, he's next level with it. He's, the shit he's talking about, niggas can't, some niggas can't even get into shit like that now. Can we talk about Lemon Pepper? Because we can't even understand. We don't know who you are. You can't get into that. We can, know Drake now. Can we talk about the okay. Lemon Pepper freestyle? Because I Go feel ahead, that man. was the, the that was standout. The, the, uh, the, the, the fire. Yeah, that was the, that's that what. the entree. Oh my gosh, that. Wow. I mean, Dr- Ross killed it. And Ross, whenever Ross and Drake come together, it's yeah. fire every single ten. time. Drake and Ross together, it was, it's 10 joints? You know, you did it, the math? I don't even know if it's 10, but... Well, you're just saying they're shooting They're yeah. shooting 1,000. Yeah, Whatever it is, a thousand. They're not, they haven't missed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really enjoy the combination of Drake and uh, Rick Ross. That's I a, agree. That's an excellent uh, combination. That's something okay. I really enjoy. Um, and I think, once again, another hit. Eventually, you know, people will, uh, you know... Can you give me a better combo? Oh yeah, come on. Are they are they top is that combo top five combos of all time? Let's get into some of the top five combos of all time then. Fuck it. Drake and Ross. Of course. Jay and and Kanye. Jada and Styles. Damn, you're gonna take my second. That was my second. That was my Oh Bleak, my bad. Bleak. No, no, no. No, you're good. I'm agreeing with whatever you're saying. Red and Meth? Red and Meth? No. Uh Jersey stand up. Ghost and Ray. I'm gonna say uh do uh, all, like, like, outcast. I, like, like, because we're not no outcast. See, see, I'm not talking. You're about, talking about back and forth. I'm talking about back and forth on a song, not Fat Joe and not Big duos. I might say Cam and Cam and Jewels. Cam and Jewels. A Cam and Jim. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Jim fan. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm a little particular to Jim Jones. Uh-huh. I'm a Jim fan. So, so what is the question? Some of the best niggas like, just Jay-Z, do songs together. Yeah, Jay Z and, and Kanye are not a Max duo. Max and French. Jay Z and Kanye are not a duo. I feel that. Jay-Z and Kanye are not a duo, so... They, they had just, an album just, together. Yeah, they just put out about, an album together. Okay, how about Jay and Ross? Jay and Ross. Jay and Ross shit is also crazy. Jay and Drake? 
T Pain and Lil Wayne. How many songs they did? Two, three. Jay and Drake. They don't think they. Jay and Drake. What they have? Pound Cake. What else? Two more. Light it up. Whatever that shit is. One more. Uh, you got one more. There's only one more. Yeah, man. It's hmm. Not Interesting. Not a duo. Not they can't be a duo because they're going for the same thing. Drake and, Drake and Future have a they they have mad shit together. That's fire. Yeah. Future and Uzi. No. J and B. Too young. J and B. No, that's not really a. Yeah. No, that's not. Yeah. Sorry. Come on, guys. There's so many more fire joints. S- oh no, Snoop and Dre. Snoop and Dre. Snoop yeah, and Dre. that's fire. Snoop and Dre. Do they have enough joints? No, they don't have joints at all. 50 in banks? These 50 guys, in... that's different. That's just business. That's not really music. <laughs> Hold on. 50 shit is not music. Stop disrespecting 50, man. I'm not disrespecting, but he said 50 and M, and 50 and M don't have songs like that. That's... They got a couple I'm joints. They got a couple joints. <laughs> I'm just saying that. I'm just saying, like they don't have, have songs. A like that. They don't collab. They got songs. some songs, bro. They don't. And they got some hard body gangster right. kill nigga shit, like shitting on Benzino and shit like that, like killing niggas, mad niggas, Fat Joe, like going crazy. No, Eminem didn't get on no Fat Joe shit. Ja Rule. Yeah, shitting on Ja Rule and all. Yeah, they came together for that. So, that was there any memorable lines from that uh, Lemon Pepper freestyle that really stuck with you? Oh, I know you got one. That one line that we were talking about the it other all day. All stars three sir. 360 all comes full circle. All comes full circle. You got some beef with me. You got to walk around it. Yeah. Um, that was fucking. Nice. Um, There's a shit that was like. You're fucking. All your albums sound like fire drills. They sound real, but them shits ain't. Them shits ain't. Who the fuck are you talking about? Everybody, I mean, the game. Basically, basically everybody. Because that's what people do. Most rap. Like most all this, you know, man. Where, where's the niggas like oh. the niggas that you love? Where's Jermaine, huh? You love Jermaine. Where's he at? Jermaine who? J. Cole. I, that's how niggas man. talk so we, all this we, shit. We they're the shit best. On J. Cole why, aren't you, why aren't you coming at Drake? These guys are working. Why aren't you working. saying, Drake, shut up? Nigga, it's me, Jermaine Cole. They all working. <laughs> it's me, Jermaine. And they got to work even harder now after he dropped those three songs. Nigga, no one... Listen, man. They're just going to deflect. No one's going to listen. Drake killed it. He said some fire shit. We're just yeah. going to pretend it doesn't exist because we can't fuck with it. Nah. Yeah. I'm, I guess I, let me just take my shit off a of disco kid and just wait and just wait a couple it, another yeah. months. Yeah. But but to Kendrick is chilling. I mean, it's chilling. From, where's Roddy out Rich? Out of, out Roddy out Rich is chilling combos? way too long. He just dropped a heat rock in 2019. The Jay and Ross. It's about to be yeah, mid 2021. Yeah, but he just Drake said, about to come through and just hit him with the hit you with all. Drake the is melodies. a different type of animal. There's only only a few niggas become the best. So actually, you know. It's only a few niggas that become the best, man. They have different work ethic, different skills. It's different. So, so uh, is Drake leaps and bounds over the competition? No, the, it's coming back to Rabbit the pack. Wise. But right now he's still, Rabbit yeah, wise. he's still way better than most of the niggas. And the niggas that can fuck with him can't swag out as much as him. They can't make good enough songs to that. be heard. But bar wise, they got it. Because there's mad niggas. I don't want to mention names that are no, nice as name. shit. Who are, but they just can't make fire right? songs, bro. Lyrically, as nice as Drake, yeah. he's talking about like yeah. you heard the lemon pepper. He, niggas can do, do that. It's gonna sound Nigga. different. Still fire. I mean, without melodies, I'm talking about straight bars. Yeah, bar wise, they could do it. Nah, they can't. Like who? Do it like Name Drake. some names. Like how Drake Name names. It? Not like Drake, cause Drake is Drake, but like at the oh, same okay. level of skill. Oh, Name yeah. Like names. the same wizardry. Like, Ken- like Kendrick. Kendrick. Like Kendrick. See, I'm, I named the name. I feel like I feel like you I didn't, guys. I didn't, I didn't dance away from it. I'm just saying. I don't want to put too many names out there. Give me, give me one name. You took the name of one name I would say. <laughs> you took one name I would say easily without being grime. So who's a, so who's the other shits are grime. So who's another? Well, nigga, I don't want to get into this beef. So um, oh, look at you, tap dance, tap, tap dance. dance. Yo, Blake, tap I know you dance. had some topics you wanted to get into. Wait, what? We just jumped like this? You yeah, we yeah, you hear you hear you hear this? You hear this? Y'all want to get good with the duos? Y'all want to? We did good with the duos. He's on a Tesla rocket now. He's just shooting out of here. Yeah. Sheesh. Why are you trying to back me down and say the niggas that I like? I'm not trying to back you down, but you can't just do that. All right, so it was just um, NBA All-Star Weekend the other week. Uh, Steph Curry won the uh, <laughs> three-point shootout three point in uh, dramatic fashion. Sabonis was it dramatic? Best shooter of all time. How was yeah. it dramatic? What was he it won dr- on the last shot. He won on the last shot. That's dramatic. I mean, oh, you mean like you knew he was going to win, so it wasn't no, dramatic. Not that, I mean, everyone already... Michael Conley put up a fucking fight. <laughs> Michael Conley almost won that shit. He yeah. lost by one point. Yeah. yeah. Put up a great fight. 
You thought on the last shot he could have missed that. You thought Steph was gonna win. You thought he was gonna like landslide it. It was and, it, came and, down it, was, and it wasn't a landslide. I mean, that's what everybody thought. Yeah. It's the pressure, man. He balled out first round, but uh, slam dunk contest. Who won that? The dude from uh, Anthony Simmons. Yeah, from uh, Portland. or Simons. Is it Simmons or Simons? Anthony Simmons. Sorry. Anthony Simons. He's from uh, Portland. I said them both. He's, He's from the Trailblazers. <laughs> yeah. Sabonis won the skills challenge. From, he definitely uh, the there was favorite. Okay, okay. He's good. He's good. He's under. He's uh, yeah. underrated. Yeah. Uh, Finally, an All Star. good for so him. So Team LeBron won uh, four straight All Star games. You know, you know how you know how Bron uh, Giannis, does. Giannis won league uh, won All Star game MVP. Bron the goat. In my Bron opinion, GM. Steph should have won it, but I feel why they gave it to him because he, yeah, uh, he, he, he didn't, didn't miss, miss a shot. He didn't miss a shot, and he made three two threes. He made three threes. He banged two of them. It doesn't matter. You made three threes. If you bang two threes, you only made. One thing. Yeah. Oh, Come on, I man. Forgot. You're not playing it. And like hood rules. Respect. Like you made it, but you know, you didn't call it. I mean, that. he's not bragging it. You didn't call it. He was looking that was a mistake. That was lucky ball. shit. Niggas don't shoot straight on bank shots. Hey, from man, three. Niggas it don't do that. It worked for him. God respect. So were you happy that they had a uh, all-star game? Of course. Um, I thought they wasn't gonna do that shit, to be honest with you. Why? Because uh-huh. Braun said no? Yeah, because Braun said he didn't want to do it. Yeah, and at the beginning of the season, saying. I thought they said they weren't going to do it. Right. They, well, bro, they did the, some, most of the players. Oh, yeah, they did. Remember, they were like, yeah, we're not yeah. even going to have an all-star game. And then they were right. like, yo, fuck it. Niggas are watching the NBA again. Of Let's course. have an all-star <laughs> right. game. Fuck it. Right. It's part of their contract. They have to do it. Anyway. I mean, if you're a Knicks fan, definitely was trash. But if you just watched it to watch it, I think it was enjoyable. Definitely favoritism towards the Portland kid. But... Aside from that. Oh, so you were good with good. the slam dunk contest? Yeah. Slam, they need to do something. They need to change something with the slam dunk contest because it's, 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 it's not hitting. It's not hitting anymore. What is it that's it's not, not hitting anymore, yo. So come up with some rules, man. Maybe we'll have some influence it's by then. I think it was. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what shorter, you can do. Worse. To, like, the league is just changing. Like, pe- like people rather see a three point shootout from, like, damn near half court than a dunk contest now. They'd rather see Steph and Dame go for a shoot off. At the half court line, more so than a they dunk should contest. change. They should change the dunk contest to like a one on one, like full court, but make the court smaller. And then you get points for every dunk, and you have like two minutes. And whoever gets the ball, if you lose it, whatever, you don't have to dribble. You just have to dunk, and then nigga can try so to what stop is that, you. King of the court, a three like a one on one, but it's like a dunk, it's gonna be mad dunks. It's gonna be a dunk fest. You dunk, the other person gets the ball. They dunk, you get the other person gets the ball. You could try to stop their dunk, uh-huh. so you can get dunked on. Uh-huh. You could block dunks to get points oh, and take man, points away. Some shit like that. Whoever gets the most amount of dunks in, in, in the two in minute first, like, ah, oh, and it's over. Okay. 15 to two, 10. You only get one try one. each at a, at a time. Yeah. No. Back I feel and forth. that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. No, man. You can get out the way and let a nigga go, or you can try to yeah. block it. So then you can get dunked on, too, and you get yeah. extra shit for that, too, probably. Make it a dunk contest champion or a block contest. <laughs> I mean, yeah. either one. Like, like a one on some fucking, like, you know, the steel, like Iron Man competition. Like, something. who's the strongest nigga? Two way competition. Ooh. I just made up, yeah, nigga. the dunk contest is just. I just not, made up a game, nigga. Just not hitting anymore. Yeah, the, the slam dunk contest is, is like everybody's seen all these dunks, and I see niggas on the street do crazier shit. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, what do we do? We can't bring street niggas into the NBA. It's the NBA. It's like hollowed. It's like, uh-huh. uh, Here we go. you know what I mean? I can't just bring niggas from the street in to play this shit. Yeah. I mean, I don't even think there. I don't think there was ever anything wrong ever with the dunk contest. It's just boring now. It's not well, the rules are whack or some shit. They gotta change the rules. the rules. One chance you mess they it up, you're out of there. And year. let like ten niggas go. They like whatever. Bad year. niggas can come. Uh, you miss a dunk, you're trash. You get a score automatically. The stars don't even want to do it. Level. The stars don't even want to do it. much to lose. What's there to lose? Getting hurt? Embarrassment. Yeah. Oh, embarrassment. everybody. A lot of kids that come out of college. But I think the big name people. I think they they they'd get the love if they just did it. No, they'd get the embarrassment. Niggas are just waiting. This is the age of clowning niggas. Niggas will clown you for doing the good things if you fuck. If you if you graduate like as the valedictorian of your class and go up to the shit and you fall and bust your ass, that's all niggas will talk about for the rest of your life. And they'll show a thousand. They won't even talk about that you were the valedictorian. They'll be like, look at this dumbass nigga falling. And every day it'll be a gif. Yeah. It'll be a meme. It'll be an every video. Right. They won't even talk about the good shit. <coughs> that's the world we live in now. So niggas like, ah, nah. Nigga, I'm a 10-time All-Star or whatever. I'm, that's it. It's over. I'm never Speaking doing that Speaking of shit. Uh, All-Star weekend basketball-related activities, did you see the two-on-two with uh, Quavo and Jack Harlow versus Little Baby and 2 Chains in the basketball game? Can, can we stop assuming that uh, rappers can play basketball? Can, when do we stop doing that? It's racist. Like, like, it honestly is. Like, can we just stop it? Wow. Shout out to Bobby Schmurder. 
Shout out, first of all, shout out to Bobby Schmurder. We haven't been able to say that yet. Oh, yeah, yeah shout right? out Bobby Schmurder. Shout and, out Bobby uh, Schmurder. Roddy, you know? And Roddy Rebel. Roddy Rebel, uh, welcome home. Welcome home. You know home, what I mean? Back. Live it up, home, man. man. Stay, stay right. Up, guys. Stand Put up, some stand music out. Down. Put some music out. We definitely gonna support. Jesse Owens. Facts. That Jesse Owens shit is fire. I can't believe Nav is a rapper every time I see it. I can't believe it. But you love his music. <laughs> but you love Jesse his shit. Owens went crazy. Jesse Owens. Good shit, good shit Rowdy. So, um, uh, so little baby's horrible at basketball. Little baby's horrible. Fab, we knew he would be horrible. Oh man, those missed air balls. Well, but he's from Brooklyn, so you know. He's of course I got ball. I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, I. Uh, uh. I mean, air ball. That shit was <laughs> madness. <laughs> they really were bad when they took the when they actually. Yeah, that was that was no good. So, what can you do? You know, there's another basketball. Quavo balled out. You know, he Quavo, dropped, he Quavo's did 17, good. I think he had what, 17 points, 14 rebounds, something no, like that. No, but Quavo's won an MVP before. Yeah, what, an all star game? The NBA, like, one of them yeah, all star yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, he's good. Yeah, when yeah. they stop. He, he actually he like, plays ball. Like, yeah. He gives a fuck. A couple things about. Uh, Two Chain's a little old now. Yeah. He used to have it. We know. Yeah, he's a 40 year old dude. Shout out, shout out he's ASU. Playing, he's playing with 20 year olds. You know how we do? He's playing against 20 year olds. Yeah, yeah, 27 you know year olds. You think he coaches? He's worried about the deluxe album. Yeah. <laughs> him and Brown are worried about him the deluxe. Brown, him and Brown are working is on that deluxe. Coaching? Album. I thought he was coaching. Yeah, he's a little, you know, speaking he's a and another thing. Speaking of All Star Weekend, that I don't know. Oh, if are you know. worried about the uh, the 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 combination of uh, coronavirus because of the lifted mandates and HIV because it's, it is Atlanta, oh, you know, the capital super, of debauchery and COVID. COVID, IV. sex, HIV, land, Landia. So, would you go? Would you go to I Atlanta go for All Star Weekend? I did not go to Atlanta for All Star Weekend. Were you I, concerned about the HIV or the? I corona? would not go to Atlanta for. I was. I probably wasn't yeah. gonna go. Were you concerned yeah. about what would concern you more, the HIV or the Corona? The Corona. Okay. Because you're not even gonna be around. Yeah, the HIV. yeah I'm not gonna be around the HIV. But somebody, yeah. if somebody blood sneezed on you. Uh, <sighs> Like, oh my, nope. achoo, blood sneeze. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, aren't they wearing a mask? No, it's no mask Ew. mandate. Down in there. Atlanta, there's it's no mask? There's no mask in Georgia no more, right? For real? I saw a couple, like... And there's, like, 13 states that, that have no mask. I thought there was, yeah. Oh, but, um, no I, 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 wouldn't, maybe, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I don't know. I'm not, let's just say that, you know, sometimes, I'm you not know. chilling in, one, I'm in public places where they're not wearing masks. Okay. That's just I not mean, what yeah. I'm doing. Okay. These people don't care. So, did you uh, in Atlanta during All Star Weekend? Have you seen on social media there have been a lot of uh, people who are like, "There's a girl who said she she put up a GoFundMe because she couldn't find she couldn't find she lost she ultimately is broke and can't find her way home." Oh, and she, then, why didn't you buy a two way ticket? Yeah, bitch? I don't know. How you buy a one way ticket? Her GoFundMe is like, "I can't. I'm broke and can't get my can't get back home." Yo, and then, is... have you seen how everybody else is mad? Other people's cars have been getting their tires taken off and been left on bricks. In Atlanta, that's normal. Like especially no, they're like yo during uh, All Star Weekend. Yo, we're yo, from the Northeast. Keep, uh, that's normal. I know we're from the Northeast, and that's normal. But people in Atlanta weren't used to it. They still got rims on there. Yo, nice ass cars on yeah. on, stop on making, the floor. Stop making them little mansions so cheap, and all these New York niggas and all these New Jersey niggas wouldn't come down there and steal your cars. No, these these, these cars are on the street. Yeah, it's suburban. Niggas is taking suburban tires areas. on the street. Oh my god! In public parking lots, oh like, my god. like, like not at your crib. Oh my god! Like you're going to All Star Game a weekend events and, and you're just parked on Broadway. Yeah, and they take your like Escalades oh on bricks. Oh my god! At, like 2021 Escalades on bricks. Uh, with the rims. Chargers yeah, the rims. on bricks. You gotta look got for you gotta look for a whole bunch of hood niggas in a big snap on. Yo, stuff. like they're like yo. I, hood, saw like mad mad, vid- I saw mad videos. I saw mad videos online. I saw mad videos online. Um, nice ass cars on bricks. That shit is crazy. In Atlanta during All Star Weekend, like yo, yeah. don't leave your car. Like, don't leave your car unattended, Joe. Mm-hmm. Niggas is taking tires. I told you that when, they, when you see the hood niggas pull up in the big snap-on truck and open the sides and this yeah. it's a NASCAR it team pull like out. Eight to ten minutes. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> out of here, nigga. Eight to All ten minutes. All them tires, that's like five Rackies on a good car every time at least. Five yeah. Rackies, five Rackies, five Rackies. ATL's in New Newark. Mm. Oh, my oh God. Man. With better that's weather. Sad. Yeah. That's and more homosexuals. They've, they've come along so far. Oh, uh, did you see that, um, that, uh, uh, oh. Some guy on TikTok. I, yeah. I don't know if he started if he's serious or not, but he came out as super straight. Yeah, I saw that. So you know how um, there's a whole bunch yeah. of different like you know what genders yeah. and yeah. Ge- a whole 
Okay. So he came out of super straight, right? Right. Okay. And he super straight, a I'm new like, gender. yeah, he started a new uh, sexual preference. Yeah. Because you know, there's lesbians, gays, bisexuals, trans, trans, trans you know, uh, um, whatever. Yeah. So he started yeah. super straight because That's how it is. He man. felt that he started. He felt, in, yeah. He felt that a lot of super straight people, which means that you are. Uh, you were born a man or born a woman, and you were only attracted to born a woman or born a man, like heterosexually. Yeah. yeah. So, so I don't have. I'm not attracted to transsexuals. Mm-hmm. I'm not attracted to anything that wasn't born not, yeah. a woman. If right? I'm a male, I'm only because attracted sh- to women born with XX chromosomes. Yeah. yeah. So because you know, it, he felt that he felt that before that when you say that out loud that you're not attracted to that it's transphobic because they say that if a trans woman is now a yeah. woman and you're not attracted to her you're transphobic because yeah. it's a woman it's supposed to be so if you're attracted to women you should want to date a, you if should, you're attracted you to women you should be open to you should be open to and date attracted trans to woman. trans women because they're women uh, exactly so he made super straight yeah which means that he's only attracted to natural born women mm-hmm how do you guys feel about that? Any thoughts on that? Do you want to watch the video? Yeah, we can watch the you video. Watch, the video? watch it, man. Uh, Definitely. You're a heterosexual male. You know, if you say like, yo, man, I don't fuck with trans women shit, like, it's like a new world where they like, you get on you, like, you, you can't, yo, no, no, I wanted to be born a woman. You can't say that. Like, that's yeah. crazy. Why can you not say that? It's okay. It's just, Should it's I just people, says, I, I mean, I don't know, man. It's, you, it's, but you can't get offended for shit like that. Then you're then you're pussy for getting offended for shit like that. Yeah. It's all like it's it's not healthy at all, man. To try to bridge to try to bridge all of these things yeah, together yeah, 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 under one umbrella. Like the four. You never seen this shit. Everybody, pay attention. We're gonna play this shit right now. We're about to play it. It might be a commercial, right? Yo, guys, I made a new sexuality now. Actually, it's called. Sorry, commercial guys. Commercial. Why did that make you feel some kind of way? That he made a new sexuality? That made you feel crazy in your soul? You heard him right here. That's my turtle protection. Discover something brighter. Alright. Now actually it's called super straight. Okay? Since straight people or straight men is myself, I get called transphobic because I wouldn't date a trans woman. You know, they're like, would you date a trans woman? I'm like, no, why? That's a female. Uh, no, like, that's not a real woman to me. Like, I want real women. No, you're just transphobic. So now, I'm super straight. I only date the opposite gender, women, that are born women. So you can't say I'm transphobic now because that's just my sexuality, you know? Yeah. Mm. That's just, a, that's just a shortcut for another shortcut. It's, it's a it. shortcut to protect yourself. Yeah. But then look, look at the hypocrisy. <laughs> They've now created a flag. Like, this is now a movement, apparently. All I said in my response was that it's honestly embarrassing that so many people lack the emotional maturity and intelligence to just introspect and reflect upon their prejudices and biases. So they make up a whole new sexuality to protect their transphobia, and TikTok is protecting it with their lives. They've now created a flag. Like, this is now a movement. So she's hating on him. Are you judging somebody on their sexual preference? Hmm? They've now created a flag and started a movement. Sounds kind of like the homophobes back in the day saying, oh, those gays are banding together and starting some kind of movement. Huh. How dare them have a preference? Fucking hypocrisy. Why can't straight men or straight women have a preference, but gay people, lesbians, non-binary, or or anybody else on the spectrum can have a preference, a community, and a movement around their fucking preference? Don't hate and be ignorant. Allow people to have a preference, right? Don't be super phobic to me if you don't fuck with me. I'm super. Thoughts? No, I just people playing with with information that they don't understand. So what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you say? Hold on. What do you bleak mean? Take, you bleak take. Bleak no, take. I'm just saying. Like it's just now. Like this gentleman said that he's gonna create a, a sexuality based on the people that he thinks. Oh, this last one was funny. That too. he likes and so one. on and so forth. So it's just him having a sort of information that he's going to now use for whatever. That's all it is. But none of them can really change the way naturality and how natural and how the universe and everything works. So all of this is just. Entertainment. Yeah, it is entertainment. I it agree. Is. But 
But what? You you expect me here and try to convince a bunch of 14, a bunch of 18, 19 year olds about my sexuality? You're not. You, hold That's on. not. Hold you're on. not super straight. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like you understand the comp the, the how complex it is and how confusing it could be to someone who who's immature and doesn't understand what the fuck what what is it that they're going through? Hmm. You understand? So. It's your fucking mind, right? Yeah, I can't. I can't really entertain it. Because it's just immature people who can't understand their whole, you know. They so just you're, saying that, you're saying that kid is immature for creating I don't, this I'm not saying trait? that him necessarily is immature. I just think that he has a, I didn't, he I, has information that he's obviously doesn't really understand. And he's trying to. <laughs> what do you mean when you say that? Use, what does that mean? He's trying to, you know, defend himself. What, he thinks he's defending himself. Yes. I think he's, he's defending not, he's himself from attacks. For he's himself. causing more trouble he's out, yeah. by de- by coming out of the closet and saying, coming out of the closet and declaring that he's super straight. Well, he doesn't have to because whoever it is he's trying to date will know that. So that's all he has to worry about at that moment at time. Doesn't have to worry about. Doesn't have to worry about everybody else who's supposedly commenting and telling them, you know. Yeah. That's an insecurity. That's that's different. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. What happened? Hold on. Oh man. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. That's a lot to. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot to digest you. right there. Yo, I don't even understand. All right. Oh, okay. So hold on. What I'm trying to say is okay. <clears throat> in this atmosphere, sometimes. Yeah. In this space. Current landscape that we live yeah. in. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes you're declaring that kind of choice or your preference like that in public. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's, it's tough. You get a little backlash. You get a little kickback, a little pushback. Oh, uh, by coming out by, of Super Street? Like, uh, before you said we even get to Super okay. Street. Uh-huh. Just saying, like, yeah, I wouldn't date a trans woman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, just saying that phrase right there is a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. But why is that? Because, you because a woman that's a, a, le- a homosexual woman, what's that, a lesbian, you right? want to. a lesbian woman can yeah. say, I don't like men. Okay. I don't want to have sex with men. Right? I'm interested to know how many lesbian women would be down with a trans man. A trans like, woman that trans, used to be a man. No, that was no a trans a woman that used to, that a man that used to be a woman. Like she's now a man. Oh, I mean, my bad. Yeah, that's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. The other way around because she's a lesbian. I mean, those are both good questions, though. Mm-hmm. Those yeah, are both good. Those are both mind fucks. Can we get a lesbian on? You can see. All right. Hit us up. Lesbians, reach out. Please. Um, Walk us through. Let's learn. Let's learn uh, some shit. Yeah, yeah. So in the landscape, you can't even say that you don't. So he's just trying to protect himself and put a, uh, let it be known that, listen, it's not no hate. I don't have no, nothing against anyone. Yeah. I just would rather not date a woman that wasn't born a woman. Mm-hmm. Right. I agree. But who do he feels like he has to express this to? Do, are you, do you have you not seen it? It's is, not is, this, is it is the is the idea foreign to you to get that to see someone get pushed back for saying that? No. Or saying the that they wouldn't date a trans woman? You've never not, seen what's, that? What seems to be foreign I'm saying I'm just asking you, have you seen something like that? Have you seen a man just say something about, "Oh, I wouldn't do that." That wasn't a woman yeah, or something like happened. that and it gets crazy for him yeah, immediately. That's, that's happened forever. In so he wants to like, protect himself to be able to say that and be like, listen, there's not no hate, there's yeah. no malice, there's no ill will, yeah. there's nothing like that. It's just that mm-hmm. I don't do that. But what I'm asking is who the fuck does he feel like he has to express this to? You feel me? He's just, no, he's just... Because to be honest with you, a, if he a, feels a, like a that, proactive that's move. the way he feels, I understand that. But if it's that's the way he feels, move. then once he f- he knows he feels like that, then that's that's where that ends. That's what should be important. And then whoever he reaches out to, if he needs to question that, then that means he's obviously in the wrong place. You understand? So once you you start expressing yourself on TikTok about something that you know you're going to get this negative attention for, then you question. Oh, you're saying he's just trying to go viral. That's uh, what you're saying. He's as- just- aside from everything I said from before, yeah, that's also... That's why I called it immature. That's what you think it's immature, and there's no, there's yeah. no, there's no need for because it. Because we know that these. So basically, you're saying you think there's no need for it. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's. To, to binge of someone insecurity is yeah. What do you guys think? I, I, I'm just I, saying. Yeah. 
Who you explaining yourself to? Yeah, exactly. So you're too sensitive by doing that because heterosexual means that. Exactly. No, but they're trying to say that heterosexual doesn't mean that because I'm a woman now. Yeah. It doesn't but matter what just, they say because you know what you are. You know you're heterosexual. Why no, but in the... In, no, you but understand, in but the, you understand what I'm saying? No, exactly. He's saying in okay. society. That's how society is looking at yeah. it. A trans woman is a woman now. Yeah. So you're hating on her by not even being open to date her because she's a woman. Don't but, you like women? Essentially like a race, almost. So they're talking... So we don't, we don't like, like they be like a race... No. Like essentially, like no. You know how if, if if you came out and said I won't date black women, yeah, I won't that's date white that, women. Yeah, it's like it, it almost comes off like it's women. almost it almost comes yeah. off as like a race esque. Yeah. She's heterosexual. Yeah. She is what she, she's whatever she she's called a herself, trans but woman. she's not naturally. So the question was, natural. what do you consider a a post op yeah. transsexual? Right? Yeah. Transsexual. Transsexual woman. Post op. What do you do? How do you feel about that? No different. Okay. That's, I'm that's, not, I'm not, I'm, you, that's not something be, you're interested in. I'm not, that's something I'm not interested yeah, okay. in. And it, Into what? Do you think I, that's a woman? Or do you think that she has to disclose that she is? Of course. I feel so. Because after her surgery, then I'm, I'm like, she has her IDs changed. Yeah. She changed her name. You, I, you, I feel, how would you know? I feel if, I right? feel if, the way that I feel technology if, is now, you I wouldn't feel, know. I feel if she wants the. I feel if she was trying to uh, have any kind of serious relationship, I think she should, uh, like, uh, like you know, um, disclose that somehow on the first date. I don't know if that's gram, but I'd want to know ASAP, Rocky. Of course, ASAP. Yeah. Like I you feel like, the same way, Bleak? Of course, I wouldn't know ASAP. I don't want to indulge in anything like that. So, out of respect, that sh I should be told. So, you also don't want to indulge in anything like that. I don't. Fire, yeah. fire, fire. Yeah. So, I mean, that's like that's an interesting topic that we should bring up probably in the future again. So, what is this? People are saying that super super hetero is unnecessary. They're saying it's unnecessary. They think, I, think, I don't think you have to explain it. But so. but he but I agree that if he wants to do that. Then he, he should be able to. People, be able are, to do it. people are just making up whatever they want to make up. His is at least it's 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 based in something, and it's a protection that that he, that he seems he feels that he needs right. because he feels like he's getting attacked or he's seen right. people get attacked for it. And I'm not gonna lie to you, or I've seen people get or attacked. He, for or it. he just wants to be as specific as possible. Yes, to, to eliminate if, all if, if, if the there, extra. Because BS. if there are guys who are will, who are dating uh, trans w women. And have no problem with it and consider themselves heterosexual. heterosexual. I don't want to be in that bracket. Yeah, he he doesn't want to consider. He, he's and I think he's yeah. well within his rights. I support it. Are you heterosexual if you mess with a trans woman? To you, I it's post. It's so over my head, yeah. Yeah, that's over my head. I mean, like, over your head? Gotta, yeah, bro, because... It, it, or you don't want to even do it. Let's not even do no, it. No, it's just like... I uh, I mean, I feel like it's smart uh, not to do it. I get it. But I, I feel like we're blood exchange. We don't give a fuck. What is, it, what is the question now? Are you a heterosexual male if you no. sleep with a transsexual woman? I mean, Post-op. No. Like she has the... She... Because, you know, legally... She has you're the vagina. Gay. You're not gay. I'm not saying you're gay. I'm just saying... Get back on me, Corey. Uh, so, uh, but say what you have, say whatever you want. Uh, you don't uh, think you're gay? Do you, if you know before, like if you what if you paid for it? Are you gay? Uh, Shit! Like you paid for the surgery? Like it's not. You're, no, I don't feel you're gay. I just feel like you're just it's something else. Not. I just like if that's how you can't relate. You can't relate. You, can't relate. you, can't you don't understand that, it. If you consider that heterosexual, yeah. I want to be. So, uh, I need to be super heterosexual then, yo. Like real talk, yo. <laughs> Yo, real talk, yo. So, so you understand it. Like, so you respect it. Like, cause I'm not gonna say the person who has sex with uh, a post-op uh, yeah. person is gay. I'm not saying that because that's a that's a that's like you know by law that's a woman now. So like, yeah. but that's not a traditional woman, and I think that's a there's got to be some kind of separation. And I, I, if that's if 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 he's if he's jumping on the super train, yeah, you know what I mean. Oh. Buy a ticket. So we fucking with the we, so so yeah, blunt exchange. Do we agree with it? 
agree with Do we at least accept it? Super straight, super straight sexual orientation? I don't, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Because if it exists, if you say it exists, it means it, that, that means that you're super straight. straight. I'm not going to say I'm super straight. I'm straight. I'm, that's it. And I've well, hold on. My, my thing is, if you're straight, yeah. you see how, you I've see never, the atmosphere that we live in? Oh, that you see the atmosphere that, energy, that we live in? A man can be straight and be honestly, by the definition, this newfound definition. To, by hold on, hold on. I need you to answer that question. Let me get this off real quick. Let me get it off. What? Look at the atmosphere that we live in. A man can be uh, heterosexual and straight, but is so afraid to say that he's super straight. Just to, he doesn't want to deviate. He doesn't want to stir the pot. He doesn't want to go against whatever's happening right now. That he's afraid to say that he's super straight. Because if a straight man can have sex with a transsexual woman, mm -hmm. as my colleague said earlier, yeah, then I'm not in that category. Okay. Because the only way that I would have sex with a transsexual woman is if I was tricked. Okay. Because if I have the power of choice, which is, I think, that's, that's, yeah. the choice is freedom. I think we live in America. We're supposed to be free. Yeah. It's honesty and freedom. Freedom is the power, the choice. Choice is freedom, right? So, yeah. I think in, the, in this country of the free, I would know if you were transsexual and then, you know, hey, respectfully, I'm not into that. I'm not into that. Yeah, exactly. So, a super straight, I'm not against it. I don't think I have to declare it. My track record speaks for itself. Yeah. But, um. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But if, I mean, by the definition, I guess I am. Yeah. But I'm not repping it. I don't have to rep it. But, you know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not but you know what it is. I'm going to put it in my bio. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a Duracell yeah, battery. <laughs> you saw the flag? Yeah. Yeah. So we out, we out of there? We out of there? That was a good topic. I like that. That was that a good one. topic. That was a good topic. There was some juice in there. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. There's some good joints. Oh, yeah. How would you how would you classify a male who was um who considered himself heterosexual that was having sex with, you know, a post op transgender woman? Um, I don't I'm not the kind of person to judge other people or tell them what they're doing or what they're saying. So I'm pretty sure they would consider that heterosexual sex. Uh -huh. With me, I think that's a little off. I don't know what the words really mean, but to me probably that would be like queer. But I guess uh -huh. that's not queer because she's a woman and he's a man. So whatever they feel. If you're asking me my personal Fuck. view, I wouldn't do that. I think it's different. I'm not sure what it is. I personally don't want to, I wouldn't do it. Do you uh, identify as a super, super... I don't identify <laughs> any, anything. I'm AIM Gunner. Okay. That's it. I identify as AIM Gunner. Uh -huh. And um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Blake? Uh, yeah, I'm not dating anything. That was involved in that uh, description that you said. <laughs> uh, yeah, not you. Well, how would you qualify that? Would you consider that as heterosexual? I don't sex? know. I don't. I'm not. I wasn't given the 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 right or the the what do you call it, the authority or whatever to make these things up for these people. So mm -hmm. I don't know what I would call that. Whatever they're doing. Whatever it's heterosexual doing. sex. It's a man and a woman having whatever sex. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. They're enjoying themselves. What is whatever it is? It's whatever it is, they're enjoying sex. themselves. I'm is it heterosexual not. sex? Yes or no? That's the question. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you don't, know, what you it don't is. know what a sex between a man and a woman is? Yeah. It could be that, but it, it could be that or it could be something else. I don't know. We got these people now. They just Girl, make these things you up. Yeah? So. You done? You done with that Good. One? Get yeah, we got the next one. All right, we'll pull up the next choice. What's the next choice? Coming to America. Who saw that yeah. shit? I saw. The, I saw Coming to America. What too. was the vibes? What was the vibes? Talk I, about I, it. Talk about it. Talk about people it. Were Coming to America. It. The first movie is a fucking cinematic masterpiece. Can yes. we agree on that? Yes. It's one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my life. Yes. yes. Okay. To be yeah. loved. Okay. Yes. I think Coming to America Two was a cool movie. It was cool. Like I like. I mean, I'm not. I I'm not gonna lie to you. On first watch, oh, first. I was disgusted. Wow. But I think my expectation level was way too high. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I didn't watch any of the trailers purposely. Uh -huh. I avoided all that shit. I was like, I just want to watch it. Because Coming to America to me is like, I said it before, it's probably top five movies ever made. To me, yes, as a black five. man. Absolutely. Top, top five. five movies ever made. Like, I uh -huh. need that. Like, my son has to watch that. Mad Towns growing right. up. Training places and all kinds of shit. Right. So. But like... Eddie Murphy was a god. He still is. Yes, technically he's still he's still a legend. Right. Yeah. But it's you know that doll of my movie is good. Did you but... see a bleak? Yeah, I watched it. What's your thoughts? I loved it. Feel that from the first watch? Yeah, from, I've only watched it once. Best character in the movie. 
Um, best character. Ooh. Favorite character. It's who gotta who, be who between, killed the movie? It's got to be, wow. To be honest with you, Semi killed it. Semi killed it. Semi killed it. Who was the witch doctor, Semi? Yeah. Arsenio Hall was the yeah. witch doctor? Was yeah. he? I that really witch thought doctor, he was that. That witch doctor was funny yeah. as shit. Arsenio Hall definitely killed it. Semi killed it. Um, Wesley Snipes killed it. Wesley Snipes, Wesley killed, Snipes killed that fucking yeah. And Eddie to killed me. it. So he, General he, Izzy? Yeah. He spazzed. Snipes His army? Different. Yeah, Wesley Snipes killed the movie. He was the funniest person. Of the yeah, he movie. saved that movie to me the first time. Like it was like it was only watchable because of him. The first watch. Nah, come on. Nah, come on. To be honest with you, first of all, we gotta applaud Eddie Murphy because he definitely knows how to make. The, first of all, when you when you watch the movie, the first ten minutes, it's a Disney movie. It's like beautifully orchestrated. So, just after seeing that cinem- that cinematography, how he did that. You absolutely, absolutely know that he knows what the fuck he's doing. And he's learned a lot. That's he's interesting. That's lot. interesting you see it like that. I mean, that's what it is. That beautiful entrance, all of that, that's just like a, a, a movie brought into life in a in a beautiful way. I don't know. I love that. And I love the first scene at the barbershop. Them niggas killed it. Yeah, the, Them the, niggas, that shit was OD funny. That barbershop scene was OD funny. It did? So, I loved it. I think Coming to America was OD fire, and I don't understand what the fuck people wanted or what they expected, but whatever. I watched it, and I loved it. Yeah, he's mad. They're mad old. They're mad old. I love the 30 years. I loved how they presented it, the you 30 the years. the cameos and the reappearances? The cameos. Made it feel real. No, no, no. I would have, I would, to, if I were being bad. critical, I would have changed, I would probably would have had a different main dude. Oh, you didn't like the Prince? I didn't, yeah, he, he wasn't. He Lave- Lave- Lavelle, he, he, Lavelle, he Johnson? Lavelle Johnson? He didn't do a bad job, but it wasn't like, I mean, he, he didn't he didn't steal the show. It's hard, bro. You didn't see the he cast? He didn't steal the show. Come on. That's a, look How at that you cast. How you steal the show with that cast? Look at that cast. I mean, cast. But he had mad screen time. Who, yeah, who killed cast. the movie? You said General Izzy? Yeah. General Wesley Izzy, Snipes. that's my nigga. Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes and fucking. But the whole orchestration, or even too, when they came in with the dancing, yeah. that whole shit was fire. That whole shit was funny. See, I'm a different nigga. I might have fucking married Tarana Taylor, like. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. All right, but he there. did, right? He tried. She's like, Spoiler whatever alert. you want, oh, Mike. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Oh, my the, bad. Oh. Um, I love the dancing. I might have went a different way with the marriage if I was uh, in that movie. Mm. Might have went a different way. I was feeling that. Mm. Nah, that you got to watch the movie. You got to watch the movie. That was funny. That barbershop scene was OD funny. Yeah. They, they did, they did uh, a couple things right. I mean, it was, it was more of a family-friendly movie. Right. When you look at it like that, they did a good job. It's a callback to the old one. The old one will always be a but classic. The, it's, it's, it lives forever. But the first one was a family-friendly as well. One to, one to ten or one to five? But five. What the f- one to five. One to five stars. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Five is easy. One to five. Wait, I wait, give wait, it a three, three and a half. Let me go back a little bit. Three and a half is a seven. You're being safe. Stop being pussy. Three and a half, you said? Three and a half? Yeah, I said three and a half. Three and a half, three and a half five. But you said it's a family friend. The first one wasn't a family friend. No, movie. that's an adult movie. That was an adult movie. There was too? titties and there was fucking. There was match in that movie. They were talking raw. Talks. Eddie Murphy raw. All right, if you want to say that, but <laughs> this one is just as good. I mean, nah, it's definitely nah, not just as good. Now you're wilding. Yeah. Nah, I give it a strong eight. I mean, out of five, what do you give it? Four? That's a four. He's giving it four stars. What are you saying? Oh, you said five? I thought we were going ten. It was just five, one and five. All right, so four and a half. What about you, G? Wow. Um, fuck. He watched it twice, so he's not going to give it a three. I watched five. it more than, Look at more that, more than, than twice. And he I watched it like four times right now. Um, yep. It's like people. some people have to watch it, and then you don't watch it with them. You know? yeah. Dukes wants to watch it, you know? You feel me? What you gonna do? Dukes, watch it with a. What you uh. gonna do? You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, it's grime. Go it's ahead. grime, Go man. Go ahead. Express yourself. My in the real life. Out of when first. I look at it, when I look at it, bro, it's uh-huh. it's a four. It's a four. Yeah. All right. Express yeah. yourself. Yeah. Three and a half, four. He didn't four. have it. He didn't yeah. have it. To say it. No, it's fair. All right. Anything else? What else? I did watch. Uh, behind her eyes, you finished it. I finished it. Lord God! Wow! Wowzers! Woo! You seen it yet? No. Oh my you God! You didn't see it yet? I no. super recommend that shit. Od behind her eyes. Od right? Good looking. No doubt. Behind wow. her eyes. That's on Netflix, That's guys. Check that out. That's a that movie will fuck you up. 
it's a genre bending movie. Like you yeah. don't even know what you're watching. Like, of course, oh, WandaVision. So, so, hold on, so but behind her eyes. Shit. Come on, Crump, you gotta watch that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. It. I'm gonna watch it. You're gonna Please. binge it. It's only like six it episodes. It's only six Netflix. episodes. Okay. Netflix. You're gonna binge it. It's only six episodes. Okay. You're gonna kill it. One night. Beautiful. Yeah, you will. You won't. You won't Satisfying stop watching. Satisfying ending. Satisfying ending. Oh, like. Satisfying ending. Yo. I was like, oh my god. Even the, yo. I'm like yo. To be honest with you, by episode four, I hit it. Yeah. I hit you knew. It. I knew. Yeah. I think that's it. You don't listen. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, you gotta check it out. Listen, spoiler right. alert. I'm just next. Serious. No, stop, chill. All right. All right, next next joint. Mm. What else? WandaVision. 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 Epic. Oh. Epic. Epic. That was fire. Yeah, listen. Great show. I cried. I did it. Great show. I cried at the end. I can see that that would have yeah. been a movie that they just chopped up. Yeah. I can see that. That was insane. It it was, was quality was excellent. Transition. Two part movie. Yeah, double feature. It was amazing. Loved it. Wow, I can't believe they pulled that off. Five. Five stars. Five. It's everything it's supposed to be and more. Rambo. It's satisfying. Spectrum. If you could get past the first three episodes, I know a lot of ignorant, stupid ass motherfuckers can't get past like that kind of shit for the first three episodes. Yeah. But once you get past that shit, bro, and then see how it ties in afterwards. Ooh-wee. Incredible. Good Wanda shit. Vision. The fact that Wanda Vision. Wanda. Vision. Yeah, yes. you feel me? Yeah, it's WandaVision. Play on words, blunt Listen. exchange. It's a blunt exchange. Incredible. Incredible. Your dig. Your Incredible. dig. Incredible. Um, so check that out. Anything else? Any other movies, guys? Um, Ooh. Malcolm and Marie. Ooh. I haven't watched that. Heat. I have not watched you that. You haven't watched that? that? Come on, Crumb. You're yeah. slacking on you your mat. I was insane. No, no, no. This yeah. No, 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 no. You look shit like that. One room, one location, conversation. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. I'm a watch this You still haven't watched Top Boy, you piece of shit. Yeah. You should have to do a shot. You have to do a You should have to do a shot every episode until you finish Top Boy. It's been since the second episode. We're in episode 32. That's crazy. That's two years. That's 2019. Wowzers. Wowzers. Whoa. Wowzers. That's Yo, that's crazy. it. New rule. Shot every fucking episode until that's you finish this That's crazy, Patrick Swayze. First thing of the episode. I mean, something has to be done. We on that. Summerhouse. You dig? Till you finish it. I bet you finish it now. And you got to watch the first one first. And it's called Summerhouse now. Uh, and nah, then you got to nah, watch Top Boy. That's too much. No, nah, you're much. out of control. He should have been watching this. Come on. It's two years ago. What do you mean it's too much? Top Boy is enough. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So, we got your Netflix fixes. Talk to us. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know. Yeah, somebody had asked me a question. They said they were dating somebody. So this is actually a viewer question. Okay. I don't know how to shape it right, but I see if I can get it on the way. They asked me. They were like, yo, they're dating somebody, right? A dude or whatever, and he's fire and all that. But, like, um, like, they never, ever see anything that he does, like, ever. Like, he's... Does I see he says squirrel. he does mad shit like and he like show and prove holds it down or whatever <laughs> whatever it is right, but like never seen him at his job in his uniform coming from his job going to his job don't know where his job is. Never seen him like with his family at his family seen any of his family know where his family is, but he'll say like oh, I'm with my mom or I'm with this or I'm like going out at work I'm in, like I'm at a meeting. Like, and the question probably is, how far do you go before you ask, like, I want to see this shit or I want to do this shit or, like, let me know. Like, I want to meet somebody. How far in a relationship or a situation do you go or do you ever go there? Like, hey, nothing fucked up, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. I just believe you because that's what it is. It all depends on the kind of job. If it's, like, a career job where they, like, sometimes bring the work home, then, I mean, we're talking about, like, for a from a female's point of view? From a male's point of view first, we can, you know what I mean? Okay. In the future, we can talk from a female's point of view when we have a female. Yeah. But um, I'm saying like, so let me fuck it up. Let me, let, me, let me switch it up for you. So you've been fucking with her for like about a year now. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, you never actually seen her go to work or met any of her family or friends, but, you know, like so she'd be like, oh, I'm busy. Oh, baby, I'm with my mom, whatever, you know, we're in town or whatever, whatever. But you've never seen it, Right? Uh, can you deal with that? Would you say something? How long would you go with before saying something? How do you even feel about that kind of situation? Um, I don't know because I, there, there's been times where things like that play in your favor when you don't get too involved. You feel me? 
So, I don't know. That might be that might be something good for some. But yeah, you know, if you're more of a traditional person, then maybe I don't think so. So a year, I'm dating her, and I and I already got these feelings. And yeah, I'm asking. I'm asking. Well, yeah, that's what you Before said. Before right? year, after a year, after a year. You be like, you want to see? Ten months now, nah, it's too early. You would ask to see shit. Maybe a year is even too early. Mm. But would, would you? you know, so you like you? You would need to ask to see it. I don't need to ask to see. But you said it, like after a year, like so. What, so what do you mean by that? You know, but if you so what happens after the year? So after a year, you don't want to pick her up from work. No, no, she's like, no, I'm good. Like, don't worry. I I, worry. I never need help getting from work. I'll just be home. So then I'm gonna think what um, the cameraman said. <laughs> what do you say? Sucking dick. <laughs> I mean, because obviously I can't pick you up from work. I can't meet you nobody. So it's not that you doing? can't. Like, what do you mean oh, you man. can't? Why are you thinking about it? Like you can't. Because like you, you just, just we don't like why. So it's how just many me times do I have to ask her that I'm gonna go pick you up from work? And she are you? Th- uh, the question probably gonna, then really is: Are you for that? Second? Do you what need that? She, what does she do for work? What do you do? What does she do for work? The question probably is: Do you need that? What does she do for work? She says she's a consultant. So does she bring work home? Come on. No, man. nothing. Does she bring a brief home? home? Does she bring a brief briefcase home? Sometimes she wears she she, she brings a briefcase if she needs to. She needs paperwork or something. Uh, she's yeah. a consultant. She's a very intelligent she's a consultant. woman. Do you see her do you ever see her on does her work call at does work ever call while she's at the house? I mean she gets calls, yeah. Stop shooting mail. What are you trying to figure out? Like to, she doesn't do anything disrespectful. She's your short. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why'd you think of, why are you going No, because you're asking me about calls and shit like that. I'm just saying. I'm nah, just saying. So, yeah, sometimes, you, sometimes, sometimes you hear her on the phone at just, work. You've never heard like anything. Like, yeah, I'm saying, there's work you've calls around. Heard, like, hear her like, talking yeah, about work. Oh, yeah, the work will call, right? And they'd be like, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. You already know. Like, all right, goodbye. So you don't even know. Like, oh, so we're cooking out, too. Like, you can't even you can't even tell it was No, no. Oh, that one was like that. Yeah, I feel that. You know what I mean? Like, so even that doesn't help you. Like, if work calls, but you don't believe it, because, I mean, not even that you don't believe it, but you can't confirm it for sure. It's basically you can't confirm it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like if that's my girl. You've never seen it. Am I? Am she's I still paying her part I'm, of the bills or whatever you do, groceries or yeah, whatever? In my, she does. in my opinion, if we've been together for a little bit and it's coming up on like a Christmas party, and you tell me your job doesn't have a holiday party, I'm gonna think it's. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think some red flags then. Uh, yeah, there's red flags, man. After a year, I feel like they're Muslim. You know. This is getting. My job is not Christian. Let me put it another way. Oh. They're, not, they're, not, they're not Christian. Why not? They don't do holiday parties. Yeah, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so the question really is basically <laughs> do you need that <coughs> to move forward with a shorty? Do you need to see her family? Yes. Do you need to do know you need to see, and her, see family? her job? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 What if she has no family? Okay. I mean, now you're just, you know, you I'm just asking you a different. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking you a different. I'm asking yeah. you a different question. He can't just, he can't, yeah, yeah. I can't just ask you a different question because I want to see how far you'd go. Pause. I mean, if I see what it, matters to you. I'm just trying to see. I'm why don't you ask have, phase one have. question? Of phase I asked one. the phase one. You answered it. I asked a different question, what did and then you, you said like, "Oh, a different question." What the fuck? How could you ask more than one question? Can you date her without saying anything? Can, can I date, date a woman without seeing anything? Yes, yeah. I can date a woman without forever? seeing anything. No, not forever. How long? See, so why can't you have answered any of the This is the question I've been asking you. I said, y'all. like, y'all I, haven't answered it. He's, he's You've said, never even answered He said a year. You, know, you said you can go a year without asking her anything. Yeah. And you said? I said, uh, like, about a year. I, I said, uh, like, yeah, about a year, because I'm assuming. This is the first like, time you're saying it at a time. I said, it's, I'm assuming. By a Christmas. Christmas party. Yeah. So what if you start dating her in November? Know what I mean, if we're dating, then and once we can get past that Christmas party. flag, then why can't we go more than a year and we'll never have another flag? I'm again. saying if you don't have another, if, if I don't, you don't take me to your Christmas party, then I'm gonna think it's a red flag. Right away, one yeah. month in. Yeah. Okay. You sound insane. No, Vibes. No, no, I sound Serial like, killy. No. Oh man. You sound like. But uh, you have to understand that right away, you know this person's hiding something. So if you want to deal with. The, why are they hiding something? Did they just? Uh, they like to do their work and keep it away. So how long? Work and how long pleasure, can you date business her? and pleasure how different. Long how long? G. How long can you date and her? Love to do that. So as soon as they start. How about you now, G? It depends on cuts. what if I'm dating. What like you know what intent else? I'm dating for? If I'm dating for marriage, I would kind of want the, the stability. 
and the like the peace of mind of knowing like all your you know because you know I'm gonna tell you my shits. I want to know your shits. You feel me? So how long are you dating her before you have to see? Come on, man, come back. The so job. So come back to us, bro. Get, so get if, back to us. I'm in the mindset of what marriage, or I'm just having fun. Because if I'm having fun, I can date her for what? How long? You know, in the two years, I wouldn't even care. One year, I wouldn't care. Yeah, so you never dating her for marriage. If I'm dating her for marriage, then I would want to know within like six months. Like, okay, I need to know what's going six on. Six months. That's me. I said ten. Wow. Within six months, I'll, no, because if it's serious now, like I need to know how serious are these funds? Can we like get six out of here? Months? Can we do some shit? And you're still good. We get fired if we do this, like you know what I mean? How does it work? Six months. <laughs> Tell me at least how it works. Yeah. Some shit. I think it's a red flag if if you're you're the person you're talking to. Can't dating. tell you how it works. It's not telling you about their job. <laughs> I think that's weird. <laughs> Off top, women like talking. <laughs> yeah, what if she's a spy? See, and, never, and then now it's never, national. Now it's never, a national security. She has risk. a front. You see what you did? She has a front. Nah, those so people she's have fun. You the front. Yeah, those people oh, have she's legit a baker. fronts. Yeah. She's, she's a, a spy. Baker. She has she's to work baker. on her stories. So <laughs> she's, she's in a... What is she going to say? <laughs> she's just going to not talk to me? She's my wife. Or yeah. girl. Whatever. Whatever it is. No, no. Spies have, have legit jobs. Yeah, they do. Right? How many spies do you know? They wouldn't be good if you knew. I don't know any spies. No like spies that. have ever revealed like the themselves think, to me. That was good. So you guys would need to know pretty early on. Yeah. All right, that's good. Um, you too. Actually, you earlier than both of us, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. You because, said six months. You're kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's crazy. <laughs> serial killing. Yeah, you're kind of the one that was Vibe crazy, serial killing. Uh, Having to know yeah. how the money works after six months, yeah, I need yeah. to know. If I'm dating for marriage, yeah, I'm, like, I'm trying, if, I'm, if I want to marry you, I'm trying to get that. Let's get it. You know what I mean? Let's get yeah. it done. All right. Let's get out of here. We're wasting time. Mm-hmm. We could have been married already. We'd have had days in. So hypothetically, yeah. how often would you date for marriage versus dating for fun? It depends on my age uh, and like you know the type of woman. Let's in front say of you me. were early thirties man. Early thirties man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's still dating to a date. Uh, I think with the mind that I have, oh, I still have my mind or I have an early thirties mind. I mean, you're you're you're. A, you're a man Am in I mean with my brain no, transported no, no, back no, no, into an early you're... 30s fair frame? So I'm I'm just 30 again, right? Huh? Yeah. I'm you're... 30 all over again. Nice. You're a 32 year old man. Feeling good. Feeling okay, good. I'm a 32 year old man. You're a 32 year old man. What's your approach to the dating game? Just date. What are you looking for? Women. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch a vibe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> mm. Trying to lay for it down. Trying no, to lay like, down. Uh, for the oh, for the listeners. Uh, I'm trying to lay down. I'm just for the for, for the listeners. <laughs> well, first, uh, I think um, I'm just open. Yeah, talk to the listeners. I'm talking to the listeners. I, I'm just open to having a good time, and while I'm having a good time, I'm learning more about myself. Seeing what I like, what I enjoy, and um, and just you know living in living in my uh, your truth. You know your truth? <laughs> I wouldn't say <laughs> I wouldn't say my truth. I don't like that phrasing. Why not? But what? you know, I'm just I'm you're not like, living your life. I'm doing doing my thing. See, the, the truth means like it feels like when you have to say and not like it's like the super straight shit sometimes. It's like yo, the truth. The truth is the truth. Like, yeah, maybe it's a lie that you're saying your truth. I okay. don't know. Why do you have to say that? Yeah, you, you can't live your truth in peace. Like, did you cheat on me? No, I didn't. Like, oh man, what? I didn't cheat. Like, what? What does that mean? Why did you say cheat <laughs> like that? Mean? Why did you say cheat <laughs> what like does that? that mean? I think you cheated. You dig? Yo, speaking of Wandavision, you seen um, Uzi's new uh, new jewelry? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You got the vision. You got the, like, what, 24? the Mind Stone? 24 what, 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 capsule. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a very, very nice... Uh, nice diamond, nice cut. Nice diamond. Dumbass shit. Pink diamond. Oh. Wow. What? 
You don't, you don't fuck with it? You don't like it? I'm not saying I don't fuck you with it. I just think you it's tight? just dumb. I just think it's Yo, Bleak, you're a hater, Bleak. I know. I feel, I feel like that's, that's what happens now. As soon as you disagree or you, you yeah. don't see something, you're a hater. But, yeah, that was stupid. But whatever. I'm not him. I don't have that kind of money to do stupid shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You know, Yo, man, if how a man I don't choose, got that collateral. How a man chooses to spend his money, I'm That's never gonna saying. I'm never gonna exactly. s- you know, talk about how he spent his money. You know what I mean? You don't count another man's money. You feel me? No, don't I'm not counting man's his money. pockets. I'm just saying. You, I don't have, you already I don't know blood exchange. I, mean, I probably would have spent the twenty million a little differently. Just yeah. slightly differently, but hey, kudos to that man. He makes good music, whatever he needs to inspire himself to make right. the music. Right. So, guys, another amazing episode in the books. Yeah, yeah, made it for last week. uh, um, But still do better next week. What, there's something else? No, no, no. Thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, keeping it blunt with us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Help us grow the channel. Guys, anything else before next episode? Yeah, man, be safe out there, yo. Enjoy your weekend, I mean. Get it popping. See y'all next week. That's all I got. We gonna keep Facts. it super straight. Keep super. it super straight. How super. about you, Bleak? Super straight. <laughs> keep it super straight. Are, are unless you you're not, unless you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't keep it super you, straight. Yeah, if you're, you're not super are straight, you, are you, you, know, like, are you just a common heterosexual or? I'm just me. Ah. Uh, all right, guys. Next week. Holla, holla, holla shit, shit.